Hello and welcome back everyone. Today I want to show you how you can easily build some fully automatic missiles with the new AI blocks from the Automatons update. Just like these here. Now that the small projector is a connector and you can convey fuel, it's much easier to build hydrogen missiles. And even though the AI blocks have quite basic targeting algorithms and need thrusters on all sides, you can still make the missile fairly small, the smallest possible being a 2x2 box, 2 by 2 blocks wide. In the beta for this update, the AI blocks were also able to use a more advanced algorithm, proportional navigation, which Keen pretty much got directly from Whip's amazing uh, missile script Wham. This doesn't need any thrusters on the sides, which is pretty cool, uh, but that would have been way too easy and useful, so Keen decided to remove it again. So I'm going to show you how to build a really simple missile like this one. It does everything automatically, all the logic is inside of the missile, you don't need any external blocks. You just hit the timer and it does everything by itself, clears the ship and then homes in on the enemies. Pretty simple. First, of course, you need a merge block to print it and then release it later. A connector for the refueling and then a bunch of thrusters to all sides, except backwards of course, you wanted to crash after all. So I'm just going to add two forwards here and then a bunch of thrusters on all sides. Uh, it took me a while to get it this compact, but yeah, you can mess around with this a little bit. This I found is like pretty much the most compact way to build it. Of course, we'll also need a tank. I'm going to put it right here. Then a little battery. And a few warheads, otherwise it's not really a missile. Two is, I would say, pretty much good enough. You could add more, but at some point you get diminishing returns. Having more warheads doesn't increase their radius, only the damage. And they already have so much damage that they can destroy pretty much every block. So it would only really help if you put another warhead, say, on the bottom. If you bunch them all up, it doesn't really help. There's just more dead mass. Now the rest is just all the logic that this missile needs to be smart. Now we're going to add the AI blocks. We just need an AI flight block with the F pointing forwards and an AI offensive block. The setup is pretty simple actually. Uh, we're just going to turn them both off and also the AI behavior off. Both. We don't want it to accidentally like start guiding when it's still in the silo and not launched yet. The AI flight just increases speed limit and for the AI offensive what it should do is target probably the largest, maybe the closest, I don't know, depends on what you want. Really short search interval so it doesn't take forever to find its target and they want to intercept with guidance type target prediction and that's it. Right, uh, we probably also want to turn off the hydrogen thrusters, thrusters, the hydrogen thrusters and set the tank to stockpile. Next up, you want an event controller. Where is it? There it is. With a gyroscope on top. The reason why the gyroscope should be on top of it is because this event controller will look for a block added slash removed there's at least one block that gets added after the event controller, which is the gyroscope. So it immediately triggers and what it does is it just locks the connector so that the refueling can start. So as soon as you print it up, the connector locks automatically because of this event controller and it starts refueling because the tank is set on stockpile. I'm also going to turn the gyro off real quick because we also don't need it until the missile actually launches. Now I'm going to add another t event controller and a timer. I'm going to use a new timer here, why not? Looks cool. And this timer, for now, uh, I'm going to call it timer fire. And for now it's going to be off, because we don't want to accidentally fire it. And this event controller here looks at the, the tank, the hydrogen tank, and if it's filled enough, I'm going to set it to 60%. Um, you probably don't need that much, but whatever. Then it's going to 
turn the timer on so that you're ready to fire as soon as you have enough fuel the timer turns on you can fire in order to trigger this timer um, because there might be several of them because you might be welding it up from projection the best thing to do is to put this timer only this timer in a group i'm going to call it fire all missiles and then you can just trigger this group and it fires every missile that's ready to fire because the timer is on and those that are not ready the timer is off they don't fire what does the timer actually do it has to fire the missile but for now we don't actually want to turn the ai on because if we do that it's just going to crash into our own ship so instead we'll only turn on the gyro all of the thrusters unlock the connector turn off the merge block to detach it and we have a second page here set the tank to not stockpile anymore and then take the first two thrusters these are the two forward ones for me and increase the thrust override I'm going to do it three times by just going on the next page and doing it again and on the next page and doing it again this just does it three times in the single timer so what this timer does is it just makes the missile fly out slowly uh, fly away from your ship until it's clear and then it's going to turn the ai on but not by itself we need another timer for that i'm going to add another one here and then the first timer is it timer fire will start the second timer uh, i'm going to call that timer delay it has a delay of just one second that's good enough now this timer finally activates the ai blocks so we're just going to turn the ai behavior on and then also turn the blocks on um, we're also going to arm the warheads of course and then reduce the thrust override back to zero by doing it three times on the three different pages that's it the missile is now finally active starting to guide towards its target and just doing a thing you can forget about it um, and that's the whole logic now if you want to print this missile and just weld up a bunch of them and launch them all automatically you can just blueprint it and make a counterpart for your ship the connector merge block with a little projector this one's already projecting the missile so you can just take this paste it on here the projector is projecting it and have a little welder a single welder i think you can actually weld up four of these missiles if you place them around in the right way easily too so um yeah it's like it's quite a small missile uh, it's connected to a tank here so it can fuel up the the fuel tank and um, that means the timer will turn on because it's fueled up enough and that means it's ready to fire by just taking the group and triggering it and if i had several missiles all of them would just fire at the same time so i could also add another missile here now i'm just gonna do it here that should work yeah easily welds it up and now for launch both of them should launch at the same time there we go and if one of them wasn't fueled up yet then that one also shouldn't launch so for example if i connect this here without conveyoring it this one should still launch because it's already fueled up but then the next one um just shouldn't yeah shouldn't launch because it doesn't have any fuel if you wanted them to launch automatically like fully automatically you could just turn the fire timer on right away from the start and then have the event controller that looks at how uh, much the tank is filled instead of turning the timer on it would just trigger it right away and that way the missiles would just launch as soon as they filled up only problem is that they would also launch when they don't have a target so you could just turn the welder on and off i guess so when you see an enemy turn the welder on and they just auto weld and launch if you want that 